Hello everyone, this is R.S. Miller at TheEndTimeNews.org and today is Sunday, May 5th, 2013. Is it an all-out war? Israel continues to strike targets inside Syria. Strong blasts hit the outskirts of Syria's capital on Saturday, with reports saying that they were results of Israeli airstrikes on Military Research Center and the Damascus airport. Israel is thought to have carried out a similar attack days ago. Massive explosions have been heard near Mount Quazayan in Damascus. The area hosts the Jamrea Military Research Center, which came under Israeli attack in early January and marked the first incursion by Israel into Syrian airspace in six years. A senior U.S. official confirmed to NBC News that Israeli Air Force bombed the military research center. The overnight Israeli strike reportedly targeted Iranian-supplied missiles to Lebanese guerrilla group Hezbollah, a Western intelligence source told Reuters. In last night's attack, as in the previous one, what was attacked were stores of Feta-110 missiles that were in transit from Iran to Hezbollah the source said. There have also been reports that the airstrikes targeted the 104th and 105th brigades of the Syrian Republican Guards, a source told RT Arabic. A senior Israeli official confirmed to AFP that the Israeli airstrike on Syria was carried out near Damascus airport overnight targeting Iranian missiles destined to Lebanon's Shiite Hezbollah movement. The attack was very close to the airport. The target was Iranian missiles which were destined for Hezbollah, he said. Mount Qusayan and Damascus Airport are located in different parts of the city, so if both were targets of airstrikes, this would likely require a more complex coordinated attack. Syrian TV accused Israel of being in alignment with rebel forces. The new Israeli attack is an attempt to raise the morale of the terrorist groups which have been reeling from strikes by our noble army, the report said. Syria's Ministry of Health did not confirm if there were any deaths or injuries. RT has managed to speak to local journalist Abdullah Mawazini for a report on the latest developments. When explosions happened in Damascus, all the houses were shaken. There was dust everywhere. Right now, we are receiving more information about the attack which targeted the Jamrea Military Research Center, he told RT. Everyone woke up. Most of the people ran downstairs to make sure they were safe. Now we are getting more information. The sound of the explosion was heard everywhere in Damascus. People are scared. While no official casualty numbers has been made public, rumors on Syrian social media say that at least 300 soldiers stationed at Mount Quazayan have been killed and hundreds of others injured, Mazawani said. Many Syrians are calling for retaliation as the possibility of a full-scale war with Israel is speculated upon. On Tuesday, April 30th, the Israeli military called up thousands of reservists and stationed them all along the Syrian-Lebanon's borders with Israel. The troops were supposed to take part in a surprise military drill scheduled to begin Sunday, May 5th. Well, it appears that the positioning of the Israeli troops was more of a strategic move than it was a surprise military drill. The exercise was also anticipated to send military tensions between Israel, Iran, Syria, and Hezbollah through the roof. Friends, if this conflict turns into an all-out war, and by that I mean Israel, Turkey, Jordan, NATO and the U.S., Russia, Iran, and even China, there will be virtually no place on the planet that will be unaffected by the death and the destruction. Although many refuse to believe it, we are in fact living in the last days. Jesus said concerning the signs of the times in Matthew twenty-four thirty-two. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. 
when its branches are already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near, at the very doors. Assuredly I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things are fulfilled. Are you saved? If you are not, but have a desire to give your life to Christ, follow the link below and pray the prayer of salvation with a sincere heart, and you will be saved. God bless you.